and hearing by the word of God. The Holy Ghost guides you into all truth. It is written in John 16, 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will shew you things to come. The reason folks from the theological institutions, seminaries, and Bible colleges are lost right now is because they ain't got the Holy Ghost guiding them. They have hand-me-down theology with hand-me-down sermons that they got from unregenerated men. Stumbling and fumbling all over Holy Scripture. That's why when hacks, like Konstantin von Dusseldorf says, he found a 4th century manuscript in an Egyptian Greek monastery. And a Catholic priest says, he was wandering through the Vatican Library one day in 1475 AD and looked on shelf 1209 and found Codex B. These folks then believed him. These modern day pastors and teachers ain't led by the Holy Ghost. Their guide is their professor. Their instructor is the academic scholar. You ask them, have you received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues as the Spirit gives the utterance? Acts 19, 2, Acts 2 and 4. Their answer will break your heart. Then when you ask them, were you baptized, buried in water in the name of Jesus Christ? Acts 2.38, Colossians 3.17. Their answer will shock you. Then you got to say, if you ain't born again, like the authorized Holy Bible says, then what in the world are y'all preaching? No wonder y'all preaching out of Vatican supervised line books with contradictions. Then the next even more important question is, why in the world are y'all preaching? Who sent you? As the scriptures say in Jeremiah 23, 21, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Most of them folks ain't born again according to the Holy Scriptures. So if God ain't sent y'all, who sent you? The Theological Bible Correction Institutions? It sounds like a racket to me. You better sit down. Judgment Day is coming and can't nobody stop it. Now, when the man of Jesus Christ is full of the Holy Ghost, then his fellowship is with Jesus Christ, morning, noon, and night, to tell the people, thus saith the Lord. This way, they can know the Lord thy God before he returns to judge the world. Acts 17:31. We all will be judged by what is written in the books. So know the Holy Scriptures above everything else, for it is your life. Deuteronomy 32, 47. A, the law, from Genesis to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 31, 9. B, the book of Deuteronomy is the repeat of the law. Deuteronomy 1, 1 through 8. C, the Psalms are the continuation of the law in five books. Psalms 1 and 1, book 1 from chapter 2 to 41, book 2 from chapter 42 to 72, book 3 from chapter 73 to 89, book 4 from chapter 90 to 106, and book 5 
chapter 107 to 150. D, the Proverbs are the explanation of the law. Proverbs 1, 1 through 6. E, Ecclesiastics is the settlement of the law. Ecclesiastics 12, 13 and 14. D, the first prophet was able. Luke 11, 50 and 51. And the spirit of prophecy is Jesus Christ. Revelation 19, 10. E, the law of prophets ended with John the Baptist. Luke 16 and 16. F, grace and truth came by Jesus Christ, John 1, 17, and is the fulfillment of the law and prophets. G, faith is the establishment of the law, Romans 3, 31. H, the commandments are the holiness of the law, Romans 7, 12. I, the gospel is the way to salvation, by the Holy Scriptures, word of truth, Ephesians 1.13. J, the water baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ removes your sins through remission, Acts 2.38, Hebrews 9.22. Because the name of Jesus Christ is the blood brought by the water, Ephesians 2.13, 1 John 5.6. K, the Holy Ghost is the seal unto redemption, and the speaking in tongues is the sign of the mystery. Mark 16, 17. 1 Corinthians 14, 2. Don't let nobody lie to you. You must be born again. If you are not born again of the water and of the spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. You will die in your sins being disobedient. The wrath of God comes on the children of disobedience. Ephesians 5, 6. You must obey Jesus Christ's words written in the Holy Scriptures from Genesis to Revelation because Jesus Christ is the word of God. Revelation 19, 13. Why? Why? obey Jesus Christ's words because eternal salvation is only for those that obey Jesus Christ Hebrews 5 9 that's the gospel given by the guidance of the Holy Ghost the author of the scriptures 2 Peter 1 20 and 21 amen and amen Thank you.